Okay, so today we're going to go ahead and talk about ballistic pendulums, which are a classic example in any AP physics course or college level physics course. Cool. So just to start off, let's go ahead and look at the problem. So we have this 30 gram bullet right here that is fired into a wood block of mass, what, 4.5 kilograms. And then the bullet and block stick together and swing upwards as shown. Okay, so oftentimes an instinct that people oftentimes do to solve a problem like this is they're like, okay, all the initial KE of the bullet is eventually transferred to gravitational potential energy all the way up there. So people will say like the KE of the bullet is equal to the gravitational potential energy all the way at the highest point. However, this is not correct. I want you to think about why this is not correct. Okay, so after you've thought about it, let's think about it. This bullet hits that block right there. They stick together, so that is an inelastic collision. So there's going to be some energy that is lost to like the heat, um, thermal energy, sound energy, all that stuff, which we don't know how much that is. So that is going to be tricky when we don't know the KE of the bullet, or I'll call it like thermal energy or sound or all that good stuff. So that's two unknowns. Gosh, that's a tricky little thing. So this is a correct statement of what the energy kind of situation is, but that's two unknowns, so we can't quite use that. So anytime two objects stick together, I think of that, there's a collision involved. So first what we're going to do is look at momentum conservation with this collision. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a before picture and an after picture for the instant right before the bullet hits the block and then the instant right afterwards. So that is the before picture. And then afterwards, they stick together and go off with some velocity of both. Cool. So I'll go ahead and label that. With, this is the velocity of the bullet. This is what the block, which is 4.5 kg. The bullet has a mass of 30 grams, which is what? Divided by 1,000, so 0 0.03 kilograms. Cool. Block is initially at rest. Awesome. So our momentum conservation equation, which you do yourself and then check back in on the video, so mass times velocity of the bullet, so it is 0 0.03 times what? Velocity of the bullet, and again, this is the momentum of the bullet plus momentum of the block equals together, they are together afterwards, so momentum of both, plus what? 4.5 times 0 equals, together they will have a mass of 4.53 times velocity of both. So this is our very important momentum conservation equation. So eventually we want to find the velocity of the bullet. So in order to do that, we're going to have to find the velocity of both of them right afterwards. So let's go ahead and see what we could do. So now we have, they are moving off together. So this is what? Velocity of both. And then they go up to some height above the ground. So they move up to what? A height of 0 0.7 meters. So the collision already happened. So this is now a closed system. So anytime we want to find velocities and things change heights, I think energy conservation is going to be a great bet. So let's do second energy conservation. So I want you to think about what type of energy it, the object has at both the starting point with v both and the highest point. So again, let's say the starting point is our height equals zero. So first point looks like that has a lot of Ke right here. It is moving. No spring potential energy, it's not attached to spring. No gravitational, we're saying that's ground level. Right here, when it gets to the highest point, we know velocity is zero when something gets to the highest point. So it's all gravitational potential energy up here. Cool. So now let's go ahead and set that up into an equation. So we can say all the initial Ke is equal to Ug. So what? One half mv squared equals mgh. So keep in mind, we want to find v of both of them. So what mass should we use? Well, in this case, they're stuck together, which is not necessarily true for all of these problems, but in this case it is. So let's use the mass of both. So 4.53 times velocity squared equals what? 4.53 times 10 times 0 0.7. Cool. I do some good old math, and I get the velocity to be 3.74 meters per second. So I want you to think about where that velocity goes. Okay, so that was the velocity of both of them. So we can plug that back into our momentum equation. So now let's go ahead and just do the final math. So we have 0 0.3 times the bullet plus this term will just be 0 equals 4.53 times 3.74. And I plug that all in, and I get the velocity of the bullet 
to be 564 meters per second. And with rounding, we all might be a little bit off. Cool. Does that make sense? Yeah, the bullet's going to be going pretty darn fast, so that does make sense over there. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at B. So how much kinetic energy was lost once the bullet hit the block of wood? Okay. So in order to do that, it looks like we're going to have to find the initial kinetic energy of the bullet. So Ke initial of the bullet. It's just going to be what? One half mass of the bullet times the velocity of the bullet squared, which is what? One half mass of the bullet, 0 0.03. Velocity of the bullet we just found to be 564 squared. Cool. So I get for that... 4,788 joules. Okay, cool. Pretty big number. Now we come on at once it hits the block of the hit the block of the wood, how much is lost? So now we need the Ke of the bullet. Let's go ahead and do that out. So what one half mass of bull times velocity of bull squared. So that is gonna be what? One half mass of bull is 4.53. Velocity of both, we got that to be 3.74 squared. Cool. And I plug that all into my handy dandy calculator. I got 31.68 joules. Okay. So the question really asks for how much is lost. So we have 4788 at the beginning and 3168 at the end. So we can just subtract those two things to find how much is lost. So 478 take away what? 37.68. And then I get Ke loss to be around 4,756 joules. Awesome. Thank you so much um, for watching. And let me know if you have any questions.